as we stand on the cusp of an extraordinary journey, one that holds the promise of transforming the future of our beloved nation as we gather here to launch the digital skills youth internship component of the St. Lucia Connected program, we are acutely aware of the challenges faced by our young generation. The issues of increased unemployment, a shortage of opportunities for personal and professional growth, and the ever widening divide of digital haves and have nots have been further exasperated, exasperated by the unprecedented global COVID-19 pandemic. In response to these pressing challenges, we have joined hands with World Education in close collaboration with St. Lucia's Department of Education, Innovation, Science, Technology, and Vocational Training to conceive and craft the Connected Program. This comprehensive initiative aims to bolster the resilience of our youth and elevate the quality of education in St. Lucia by empowering them and the educators to become digital literacy leaders within their communities. Before we delve deeper into the intricacies of this groundbreaking initiative, I must acknowledge and extend our heartfelt gratitude to our esteemed partners who have wholeheartedly supported us in this endeavor. The United States Agency for International Development, USAID, the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, South Lewis Community College, and the St. Lucia Chamber of Commerce, Industry, and Agriculture. Your unwavering commitment has been instrumental in bringing this program to fruition. At its core, the St. Lucia Connected program aims to equip our youth with the critical digital skills essential for thriving in today's ever-evolving digital landscape. We recognize that the challenges our youth face go beyond mere academic pursuits. Thus, this program has been thoughtfully designed to prepare them for active and engaged participation in all facets of life, be it education, the community, the workforce, or personal growth. The Connected program encompasses a multifaceted approach that not only empowers our youth, but also elevates our educators. By fostering digital literacy, leaders among our educators, we ensure that they are well equipped to impart the necessary knowledge and skills to our students effectively. This twofold approach ensures a sustainable impact that transcends generations. One of the most pivotal components of the Senusha Connected program is the Youth Internship Program, an unparalleled opportunity for our lower secondary school students. This internship represents a transformative experience that will shape the trajectory of our youth lives this is the main reason why we are here today. Furthermore, we understand that the internship experience must be holistically enriching. Hence, it will employ a hybrid approach to workplace engagement. Thus, this will blend the digital realm with physical workplaces, ensuring that our youth gain exposure to diverse work environments and acquire the adaptability required in today's rapid changing world. Thank you everyone who has played a part in making the St. Lucia Connected program a reality and may this endeavor mark the beginning of a new era of growth and prosperity for St. Lucia. Thank you all and may our journey begin towards a brighter future. Right now I invite Mr. Royston Emmanuel, the Chief of Party, to do the welcome remarks. Traditionally, we try to solve problems invo involving the youth by identifying problems with the youth. This program is different. In this program, we identify the strengths of the youth and we build on those strengths in order to help them grow. And so I want to welcome you here this morning as part of this innovative initiative. This is not about I want to say it again, not about solving problems in the youth. This is about using the strength of our youth to improve our communities, our economies, our businesses. 
And I can tell you, as I look at you today, my boys, my girls, I know there is something wonderful happening here. Okay? I know from what I have seen thus far that you have a huge contribution to make to this society. And I'm so happy, I'm so proud that our partners came on board to give you that voice and that opportunity to be part of this experience. So I spoke to one of the interns this morning, you know, her group uh, made a pitch presentation to one of the, the companies involved in this process. And she said to me, sir, um, I, I can't say the person's name because he asked for anonymity, but he said, she said the owner of the business agreed with everything we had to share. And they had such fascinating ideas because I listened to them last week. You know, I was part, I, I, I heard what they were trying to do. And she said, you know, and, you know, emphatically that he said yes. Yes. So imagine that a business that has been in operation for 20 years are listening to 14 and 15 year olds when it comes to advice about their participation in the, in the digital ecosystem. That is what I'm talking about, the power of the youth, youth agency, giving youth a voice and an opportunity to show that they can make a difference. And you know, basically, I'll just say it, just how it is, we just need to stop, com stop complaining about them and start looking at the positive that they have to bring. And I want to challenge our principals who are joining us right now, teachers who are part of this, this exercise, to take that approach when it comes to the education of our youth. Can we identify what their strengths are? And can we work with them on building those strengths? And maybe if we spend more time doing that, we will spend less time complaining about them. So I want to welcome you all here. And before we end, I want to say congratulations to you young people, right? To my boys, my young ladies, to Jilani, who has been such an instrumental part of this process. Okay, this, they, 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 they need to be identified and mentioned to Serena, who is going to be talking to us today about her experience thus far. I want to say that I am proud of you. I also want to say thank you to the members of the Employers Network who took a chance on our young people. So to people like Mr. Anderson, I know this is not a vote of thanks yet. <laughs> but I want to say thank you to you. I want to say thank you so much, Dr. Prosper, for being part of this, for, for coming here today to show your support for such an initiative. Because as long as we know that we have our leaders on board, we know we're going to go far. I want to say thank you to Kirin, who has shown unwavering support for this project. She's behind the scenes, we don't see her all the time, but she is that person in the ministry who makes sure things get going when it comes to us. And I want to thank all our partners for your continued support, all the people who worked on this project and are still working arduously. So I guess my welcome became a thanks, right? But I know that this is something great, and I want to implore people listening, people who are part of this, to figure out ways of continuing this activity. Maybe next year we can have 100 young people who are part of this internship. This internship. Maybe the year after we can have 200. Because I can tell you, the lessons we're going to learn from this you know, pilot are powerful lessons. And I guess a lot of those lessons we will learn from our young persons who will definitely be making a difference in this society. So I want to welcome you all. Protocol being established, I want to welcome everybody to this launch. When I was um, told about the internship program, I thought, another program, you know, but once I heard it was the youth internship program, I was excited about it because I am, my background is in electronics, marine electronics to be exact, 36 years in the field. And the one thing that makes us different as human beings from the rest of the animals is tools, tools. And the caveman started with, you know, the basic tool, you know, um, an axe or whatever to, to hunt, to find food. And today we have very sophisticated tools. And that's really what the digital world represents, an invisible world 
that is superimposed on our physical world. And the young people have been indulging in this world from the get-go because they're not just a new generation, because generation simply means you know, we, have we are moving for a cycle when we talk about it from the organic perspective. But mentally, we are really far behind of the, the first world. We are considered a third world. But first world is from the mind. The first world is not your geography. And we have here persons who have first world mindset, but the soil for growth is not presented to them. They don't have that placenta so they can grow from. And while we are busy getting them to memorize and regurgitate, they really want to interact. They want to involve. And we have the potential to quantum jump. Something that we, you know, we always told, take your time, take your time. There is no time. We are the time. All we have is this moment. The young people recognize that. If you watch the gaming platform, and I have to bring in gaming, because for, as parents, I remember in the early days, once you mentioned gaming, they say you're playing. And when the MBA and these um, models of, of gaming became a, a great way for gaining wealth, parents recognized that gaming was more than just playing. It also meant the future, and it also meant a way of learning. We all learn through gaming. Gaming is the only way we learn. If we look at the rest of the animal kingdom, that's how they learn. The, the model we are using for um, bringing information into your mental capacity and storing it there and regurgitating it is no longer relevant. ChatGTP, this new launch of an interactive AI platform, proved that. The old, in the olden days, books were the way of keeping information, but it was very static. Even if you had a library of books, it would not act. It'll be there. The only way you can get it to act, you have to pick the book up, read it using your visual system, and then act upon what's written in the book. Today you have tools that can act, active tools. And I just want to say to the young people, you must engage these active tools. They are going to give you the leverage necessary to be able to make a third, third, third world country become a first world country. I am really excited if the interns that I have at present, I was supposed to have six, I got five, it feels like I have 20. Because the, the interesting thing about digital systems is that you can multiply yourself, something you cannot do in the physical realm. You can be multiple places at the same time. And the, the part I want to bring into this internship program is innovation is not, we always think of innovation as something grand, you know, like you have to change the world with something. The hair clip changed the world. The hairpin changed the world, nails changed the world. You know, it, it could be something very simple, and innovation doesn't always mean starting from scratch. You can simply change something like this microphone. I'm holding on to it, wireless mic, you know. Now I have, we're back to this one. Okay, it's a fallback mechanism, but we need to innovate. And um, up to last night, I was working with a company, I was networking with a company down in China about cooling systems, because I saw everybody holding a fan trying to blow themselves cold, and they have these fans that you put over your, your, your neck. It's like a headphone, and it cools your face. I always wonder why if you simply cool your face, you cool your whole body. Nobody is trying to fan their legs, you know? So there's something psychological about if your face is cool, you feel cool, right? And a hands-free fan changes the dynamics. So I've employed that in my workspace because I cannot use a fan in my workspace because of the nature of the products. If you have air moving, everything gets volatile. So I want to say to the young persons, this here, this opportunity is a good fertile soil, bringing innovation to the existing businesses. Most businesses I go to, when I enter, if I ask for a product and somebody is busy and I try to get somebody to, 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 to sort me out, I go online and I hit Amazon or something and I hit the product there. And when they come to me, I say, no, don't worry, I already have the product I found on Amazon while I was in your store. Just trying to get them to understand that they need to move forward. No longer people want to walk around just to find out if you have something available. The young people have the capacity. They're frustrated right now because we are, we are like, <laughs> we are stuck in a particular time span while they have moved ahead. I'm interested in 
how we are going to do this using the technological components we have now. And my part in it is to collaborate, guys. Okay, the key to move forward is not to try to do it on your own. We have the whole world. We can collaborate with companies, persons, schools, worldwide. So we need to do that. And again, as I says, um, I have four, uh, five interns. It feels like 20. Um, last week, I connected them with a company that does digital systems, digital business cards. And I'm sure by this week, I'm going to have 50 interns. This, yeah, the same interns, but they're going to grow in capacity. They're able to deliver a lot more. And um, this is a, a brand new era. And hats off to uh, USAID, World um, Education, and everybody involved for this initiative. And I support it 200%. Give thanks. The Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology, and Vocational Training, in partnership with World Education Inc., and funding support from the USAID, launched the Sendusha Connect Ed initiative in September of 2021, so two years ago. The primary aim of this program was to contribute to the development of a more resilient education system and to enhance the abilities and talents of the youth in St. Lucia. This objective was achieved through the provision of digital education opportunities, enabling them to cultivate and apply leadership and life skills through self-determined pathways. The St. Lucia Connect Ed program has been dedicated to foster resilience and elevating the quality of teaching and learning in St. Lucia. A digital skill framework has been developed for St. Lucia, and teachers and students are being equipped with essential digital literacy skills, transforming them into digital, digital literacy leaders within our society. The targeted skills encompass computer proficiency, software competencies, as well as the effective use of technology in everyday life. Teachers and students have also attended workshops on positive youth development. Earlier this year, the teachers were engaged in the e-learning academy for educators hosted by our very own Sir Arthur Lewis Community College. There, the teachers gained skills in animation and audio-visual production EdTech makerspace design and implementation. This training featured a capstone project also. Youth researchers trained in conducting action, action research under the St. Lucia Connect Ed project visited the classroom of these trained teachers to capture data on the implementation of the digital skills that were learned. We are now at the Youth Digital Skills Internship Program stage. The St. Lucia Connect Ed Youth Digital Skills Internship Program has a core objective to foster essential digital competencies among young individuals aged 14 to 16. Through this initiative, students are offered genuine chances to acquire and utilize digital skills in practical situations, all within a secure and encouraging setting. Thanks to our employees network, which was created. By bridging the gap between the industry demands and in-school learning, the internship program endeavors to empower students to harness and apply their skills constructively. Furthermore, it provides an enabling atmosphere for enhancing their social, technical, and cognitive abilities. Interns, you are the ambassadors for this pilot project. Your performance and success will be the foundation for future iterations. Learn as much as you can. Ask questions. Share what you learn with your peers. And continue to be the digital, lit, digital skill literacy leaders that we need in our ever global environment. So welcome and just keep that in mind. I want to tell the 58 students who have been chosen for that program that you are fortunate. 
there are thousands of St. Lucian students who wish that they had a similar opportunity. I would like you to relish this chance in your life. Let me express gratitude to the 14 organizations who have willingly accepted our students into their businesses for this internship period. I know sometimes when businesses are approached, sometimes they are skeptical about having young people in their businesses. They say sometimes you are rude, you are not cooperative, but I know you are good students and you'll do well. I would like to thank our partners who have come together to make this initiative a reality. USAID, World Education, I want to get this one right, Tuskegee University, South Louis Community College, the OECS, the Chamber of Commerce, and our very own Connect Ed Ministry of Education. Let me express my gratitude as well to Mr. Roston Emmanuel and his team. I know they have been working very hard to ensure that this internship was a reality. I want to thank them for their hard work and for their, their dedication. This is a very dynamic world. The world has been moving very fast and there are so many changes, rapid changes that are occurring, especially in technology. And this technology is embedded in every aspect of our daily lives. Think of it. Does a day go by if you don't make a phone call? You don't use a cell phone? You don't use a digital device? We just cannot escape the technology. This youth digital skill internship program is therefore invaluable, and should I say, very late. We should have done that a very long time ago, but we are happy that it's happening now. I often hear young people say, I just left school, but they are asking for experience to get a job. Where do they expect me to get the experience from? This is your opportunity to receive hands-on experience, to apply the digital skills in the real world. Young people, embrace the opportunity. The feedback that you receive from your supervisors will only help you to improve. Remain open to suggestions and corrections as these will help you to progress. Don't be afraid of sharing your skills. Don't be afraid of sharing your ideas as the idea you may feel that is dumb may be the best advice that you are sharing with somebody. I know that you have to embark on some projects. Take these projects seriously and complete them well on time. I know some of you have a tendency to procrastinate. You think you have enough time. Work on your projects. Do something every day. They can form part of your portfolio and resume and can give you an advantage over other young people who may be seeking jobs in the future. Learn as much as you can. And as you have heard before, be innovative. No idea is a dumb idea. Something that you have been thinking about for some time might change the world tremendously. Don't keep it within you. Share it with others. Get into the habit of thinking a problem through and attempting to solve it as opposed to complaining. Think your problems through. Some of us tend to give up too quickly. We need to sit and think. Give ourselves a chance to solve a problem or to share that problem with somebody else and see whether two or three of you can work together to solve that problem. Explore the possibilities. Master the skills. 
hone your unique creative abilities, unlock your potentials as you prepare for the future. Network with others in the field, establish connections and remain connected. So you meet somebody somewhere, share, share your, your, your telephone number or share your email address. You may have a question sometime that this person may be able to assist you with so you can establish that connection, but stay connected. Stay connected with your peers, the, the, the students who are, who are working or who are on inter internship at different organizations. Their experiences may be very useful to you. Share yours and invite others to share the experiences with you. Upon completion of your task at the organizations, Offer assistance if possible. I have seen young people in a workplace. They are asked to do this. They are finished, so they sit there. They just sit. Offer your assistance to somebody else. You might just be learning from somebody. You may just happen to learn something new in your attempt to assist somebody. Use this opportunity as a pathway to get a job. You are still at school, you have a future. Or even better, to start your own business. Some time ago we would say how. But with the youth economy, the government provides support to young people. So if you have an idea, or if you have a hobby, you can use this hobby to start your own business. Because the government is offering seed money to young people so that they can start their own business. So we no longer go to school to get a job. We can go to school to learn to start our own businesses. Your conduct and your department will determine the future cooperation of our host institutions. So those workplaces that you are in currently, they are watching you. They are watching your behavior. They are watching your department, how you carry yourself. We want other young people to benefit from this experience in the future. And if you are very good ambassadors, I think our program can continue so that many more young St. Lucians can benefit from the opportunity. So I urge you to be good as you have always been. Apply yourself for the opportunities that, that avail themselves so that you stand to benefit and others after you because of the good example that you have left behind will benefit as well. I want to, in closing, I want to wish you a very successful internship. And I once again want to thank our partners and the host companies who have come together to make this initiative possible. Thank you very much. I literally started my entire life journey through internship. And I really scrutinized internship in the way that I felt like it wasn't for me. I just wanted to work to make money. I didn't have time to volunteer. And it was um, my employers and the people at the assigned businesses who saw potential within me that I did not see within myself. And they decided to harness my skills so that I could be somebody and I could stand where I am today and proudly say that I am a child and I'm a product of an internship. And I can say that I'm a product of a digital skills internship, actually, because although my internship was not something that focused on digital skills, but the company that I was assigned to was heavily reliant on digital skills. So let's be mindful, everyone, that sometimes we have to start small for us to reach where we want to see ourselves in life. I may be here today, tomorrow, I'm maybe the United Nations Secretary General, you never know. <laughs> so trust me, like, we all have goals and dreams, and sometimes humility takes us a really long way. So right now, I would re it's really my honor to invite Serena Plummer, one of my special 
interns to give her internship experience. I am Serena Plummer of the Kashi's Comprehensive Secondary School, and I am eager to share my experience and reflections of my U.S. AID St. Lucia Connect Ed Youth Internship. Embarking on this internship as a young student has been an invaluable opportunity for growth and learning. During my internship, I have had the privilege to step into the real world and experience the professional environment, a chance that not many get. This chance helped me explore different career paths, gain a hands-on experience, and put my theoretical knowledge to the test. The exposure in the workplace culture and dynamics was eye-opening. It was teaching me the, the essential skills of time management, communication, and problem solving. As a student intern, I initially was nervous, as I am today. In stepping into a environment full of professionals. But soon, I realized that my perspective as a student was appreciated, and I was encouraged to ask questions and contribute my ideas. Furthermore, this internship provided me with a clarity on my future goals and aspirations. It allows me to better, make, to better identify my strengths and areas of interest. We were given surveys to see what we would like to study, and I couldn't decide what to do. I was completely, well, I was a complete mess, and I didn't know. But after going for the training, I realized that there were certain areas that I were really interested in, and I wanted to pursue them. In conclusion, this internship was a transformative experience so far. It equipped me with skills knowledge, and a clear vision of my future. And I believe that this internship plays a, a vital role in shaping young minds and preparing them for the challenges that lie ahead. I urge my fellow students to seize every opportunity for an internship. Embrace the learning journey that it offers, whether it be a small local business or a large corporation. The experience gained is priceless, and it sets the foundation for a successful future. On behalf of all the student interns, I would like to thank USAID, World Education Inc., and the St. Lucia Connect Ed Project for giving us the opportunity to be part of such a unique experience. I cannot end without mentioning the establishments who are hosting us. To you, we express an immense thanks and for being patient with us and hosting us as interns and a thank you to our mentors and colleagues who are supporting us throughout this process. Your encouragement really helped us all, especially me. Thank you. So right now we have a feature address from the Honorable Sean Edward, who is our Minister for Education in the Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology, and Vocational Training Department. Permit me to adopt the protocol that has already been established. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, esteemed partners, students, and all who have gathered here today, it is with immense pride and anticipation that I address you in my capacity as the Minister for Education. It is my pleasure to endorse a truly groundbreaking initiative, the result of a collaborative effort between the Ministry of Education of St. Lucia, USAID and World Education Incorporated. This visionary program, the Youth Digital Skills Internship Program, is a testament to the government's commitment to connecting education and the workplace, as well as improving opportunities for our young people. In this rapidly evolving world, technology is transforming every aspect of our society and our economy. Yet many of our young people and educators, the pillars of our nation's future, are facing challenges in navigating this digital landscape. The COVID-19 pandemic highlighted the urgent need to address issues like increased unemployment, limited growth prospects, and the widening digital gap in our education system. That this initiative aims to engage our young people by building on their strengths and helping them understand the opportunities available to them is critical to the success of any youth engagement program. This program aims to empower our youth with digital skills, 
essential for the workplace, fostering a seamless transition into a rapidly evolving economy. But this program goes beyond just imparting knowledge. It also emphasizes mentorship and personal growth. The Youth Digital Skills Internship Program is an experiential learning approach to digital skills building among our young people. During the internship, the students will engage in a wide range of activities carefully designed to develop their digital skills and apply them in practical settings. Let me provide you with some insights into the enriching activities they will undertake. They will engage in digital skills training. They will receive comprehensive training in key areas such as data entry, working with presentations, for example, PowerPoint and Google Slides, document publication, for example, creating letters, programs, reports, creating engaging social media content, working with numeric data, spreadsheets, for example, using technology to solve problems, and effectively communicating using technology. They will learn how to negotiate and manage the truths of information with which they are constantly bombarded. They will learn graphic design and photography, web development, and mobile app development. They will learn about cybersecurity and recognize and appreciate the importance of protecting digital assets. And of course, they will understand how to engage responsibly and creatively in generative artificial intelligence. Hopefully, they will understand the threats, potential, and challenges of artificial intelligence. But this program does not stop at training alone. It also incorporates on-the-job learning, where our students will have the opportunity to observe and participate in real-world work environments. By employing their digital skills, they will provide valuable support for the business and organization activities contributing actively to the operations and projects of the assigned organizations. A unique aspect of the internship is the co-creation of a project or solution that aims to support the organization's participation in the digital ecosystem. This opportunity allows our young minds to apply their acquired skills and creativity to address real-world challenges faced by the organizations they work with. Throughout the experiential learning process, our young persons will create digital solutions and the program will culminate with presentation of these solutions. This showcase will not only demonstrate the skills they have honed, but also their ability to innovate and adapt, making them valuable assets in the ever-evolving digital landscape. This initiative resonates with the government's unwavering commitment to creating a strong connection between education and the workplace, providing our youth with the tools they need to succeed in this digital age. By learning and applying critical digital skills, fundamental to the workplace, these young individuals will be equipped to thrive in a competitive job market. As we stand on the brink of this new era, I invite each and every one of you to join us in supporting and celebrating this transformative initiative. Together with the combined efforts of St. Lucia's Ministry of Education, USAID, and World Education Incorporated, we can ensure a brighter and more inclusive digital future for our youth and for St. Lucia. Thank you. That was a really great feature address. And for me as a young person, it's very heartwarming when we have initiatives um, like these, when we are actually supported by the Ministry of Education and other um, institutions in St. Lucia. The thing I really want to see the most when we have projects is sustainability. So for sure, let's see that Connected stays around and is sustainable towards the development of St. Lucia's diverse population. And then in closing, I just want to remind everyone here to continue supporting initiatives like these. I mean, we have Connected now. Tomorrow it can be something else coming through the pipeline from USAID, etc. So, and young people, when these opportunities do come up, I want you to 
embrace these opportunities. I think most times we always look for what's in it for us financially, but look for what skills can I learn from those opportunities? Who can I connect with? If there's one thing I was taught by one of my mentors, Mr. Jermaine Anthony, was connect well, my child, because it will help you survive in this future. And if there's one thing I'm very good at is connecting with everyone that I come across, because at the end of the day, you never know where you may fall. You never know what opportunities and what doors some people can open for you. But at the same time, while you're seeking opportunities, also help others to get opportunities themselves. Okay, so in closing, thank you very much to everyone who is online, who participated in person as well. And do have yourselves a great day.